Hello and welcome. I am Scrapperlock, and this is City of Heroes on the private server Everlasting. We are with our Scrapper, Silver Phoenix, who is level 39, and we are about to complete, I think complete, the Devouring Earth story arc. We've been asked to board the train, which we're now doing, and there's going to be an outdoor mission. And our goal is going to be to find, track down, and defeat the Altered Tanya. The deep furious roar and the sound of a beast in a towering rage. So that's got to be her. So, we are going to do what I always do and find the limits of the map. Right there. And I want to look for the parking garage, because if this has got the parking garage in it, that's often where the bad guys are. That's usually up around here. But we'll see. Okay, we go almost to the war wall. I don't know why they don't just let you go to the war wall there. Alright, now we go over this way. There's the parking garage. I'm going to beat these guys up here, and then I'm going to wander over and see if she's on the other side. Oh, this stupid quartz, or cairn, or whatever it is. Come on. You can see how much damage we got put now. It's quite nice. Strikes, can we do a crit? Yes, awesome. Alright, let's see if Tanya's over here. Usually they're right around. Come here. Oh, I didn't want to go all the way over. Now I'm going to fight these guys. Yeah, that was sloppy. And then there's a baby sardonics. Take care of that. Okay, so what I wanted to do <laughs> was just come right up here. Oh, I missed it again. Right right there. And just take a look. It's usually right around here. But apparently not. Alright, so let's continue our map perimeter. Delineation. So we know the extent of the map. Okay. going to leave the zone. Alright, so that's the perimeter. So what I want to do is head toward the middle. Right, and that's right where the parking garage is. It's right at the middle. That's where why you usually find the bad guys here. Not the bad guys, but the boss or whatever it is that you're looking for. Get out of my way. So let's see what we can find here. There she is. Terra. I knew she was near the parking garage. They're usually not in the parking garage. Alright, let me clear out this guy. Just in case. Clear these guys out. Yeah, you know, um, I think I mentioned in a previous episode I've started doing the Pretoria content with a friend of mine. And uh, one of the things that's really interesting to see is how similar we play. Um, I would have to say, in a certain, to a certain degree, you could say he... 
I don't know how to say it. I, I don't want to say he taught me everything I know about playing role-playing games, but he kind of did because, well, we learned them together, but he knew D&D before I did. And so he kind of taught it to me, and then we learned it, you know, kind of played it together and learned a lot of things, you know, kind of in tandem with each other as we were figuring things out, reading stuff in the rule book and that sort of thing. But, you know, he kind of taught me how to play RPGs, and the way I play them is very similar to the way he does, and it was really interesting to see when we... Um, when we got in a situation like this, we're in a room and there's like a boss and then there's minions around the edges. He didn't even say anything to me. He just went around the edges and took out all the minions first and then we went after the boss. It's just something we always do. Is that one close? No, he's nowhere near. All right. So we're going to take this death cap out first. What level is she? 41. Plus two elite boss. I think I'm going to go ahead and pop a loot here. And we'll see how it goes, guys. Here's a loot. That's a really cool um, animation. And you get really fast. Notice my defense now. It's 80%, right? So he should be floored. Now I have three minutes to beat the crap out of Terra. Do a little extra damage. Better accuracy. See if we can knock her over. Nope. Critical strikes are good. Look at that. Cannot hit me. Oh, she is floored. If you look at her two hit rolls, 7% chance. Right? Now, what happens is if uh, Elude wears off, before I defeat her, which I don't think it will, but if it wears off before, and notice I'm not losing endurance either because it rege it buffs your endurance regeneration too. Oh, she hit me. Watch out. Let's throw another luck on just to floor her. Okay. Got her. But notice my... In Ooh. If she hits me again, she's going to kill me. Nothing I can do about it, guys. I've got her floor. I can't make it any better. Oh, uh, I'm going to die. Yep. Oh, I got so close. What the heck badge did I just earn? I need to carry more... Um, unwavering badge, probably from death. Um, I need to carry more heals, I guess, while the uh, elude is running. Because... If she gets lucky and hits me, there's just nothing I can do. You could see two shots kills you. Maybe three. Oh, I know what I can do. I can. I always forget to do that. Use the wedding ring. It gives you 30% resistance. Now, the problem is we're not going to have a loot this time. Uh, but that's okay. Because we got the wedding ring. So I'll go ahead and pop that. We got the warwolves too, but we shouldn't need them. Uh, where am I? Founders Falls. Let's find our nearest contact. Let's see, let's just grab Ginger Yates. She's right there, half a mile away, so that's not too bad. Make sure to re-engage your toggles, because they all drop when you die. Now the elite boss will be nearly um, back to full health, and we will not have elude. So we just gotta hope. Yeah, I got so close. I needed one more heal inspiration, basically. Alright, let's ask for the store. One, two, three, four. One, two. Come here. Come here. Let's grab a damage. And we've got our resistance that we will turn on as well. Back to the train. Yeah, it was really close, guys. Gosh, like one more hit would have done it. Or one more heal inspiration would have saved me. Alright, so we're going to need triple lux. And hope to beat her in two minutes. We can 
pull the warwolves as well. We've got two uses left. So we may do that as well. Shouldn't need it with the resistance. We should be alright. This is, uh, by the way, entirely because it's a plus two boss. If it was, if that had been a plus zero elite boss or plus one, it would have been no problem. Whoa, what is that up there? What is that? Spawn chamber. Interesting. Oh, good. All right, so sh we should be all right because she's almost half gone. Damage. Yeah, we got her. That should retire most of the debt, I would think. Completed the mission. But what is this spawn chamber up here? What is that thing? I think we're going to have to fight that. I think before we fight that, we're going to take these guys out. So they don't interfere. We got 32 reward bars, so this is the end of the story arc. I think we need to fight this thing. How many hit points does it have? 2100. That's going to take a while. Alright. Let's go get it. Let's see what it does. It's just going to sit there. I thought it was going to like... It's a spawn chamber. I thought it was going to like spawn stuff. Apparently not. That's kind of lame. It's really cool looking. But it's not doing anything. It's just sitting here glowing. Eh. That's kind of lame. Alright, let's head out. We've completed the mission, and then when we talk to Ginger Yates, she will give us our XP. We didn't get any debt? Why didn't we get debt? That's, I'm going to have to ask why, don't, why do I sometimes not get any debt. Alright, so we have defeated... Um, Terra, and we have finished the mission, and the Hamadon's letter is our souvenir, right? So we defeated Terra, and that's the end of the Hamadon's plan to turn her into a breeder. All right, so um, that's the end of the story arc. I only got one enhancement. I have been getting no enhancements lately. I think like the last five missions in a row I haven't got any enhancements. That's really strange. Um, I think we're going to stop there. I know it's a short episode, but we've completed this story arc. And I'll be back with another episode in the near future. I hope you've been enjoying. This is City of Heroes.